we're already starting to think about the baby shower because the gender reveal, um, I mean, lots of people knew that uh, the gender got leaked before we were able to, and at first I didn't know the gender, but um, a couple of content creators kind of spoiled that for us. Um, so yeah, I will, you know, I will say, I did know the gender before the gender reveal, and so did Ken. We never said that we didn't know. We just didn't say that we did know. Um, and we weren't gonna publicly come out and say that content creator so-and-so uh, ruined that for us, so. So the, the gender reveal was for our family because there were people in our family that don't get on the internet that um that they didn't know so it was more for them than it was for us all i can say is you know going forward try to be more careful about we'll just try to be more careful about who we let in our inner circle as um as friends um and as confidants and keep everything really close to home. So when we do have big life events, we can announce it on our own time and that be special for us. I mean, that's just simple self, you know, respect. Respect the people, um, people's privacy in that way. If they have a certain event that, you know, they wanna have like a wedding or a gender reveal or a baby shower, or you know naming your kid whatever you're gonna name your kid it should be the person it should be the mom or the dad or the parents that put it out there it should be you that gets to put it out there not content creators on on tiktok for clicks and views that's just that's no cooth that's not having any sort of respect it's my two cents on it guys i'll stop going on a rant Well, I gotta go call Ken and see where he's at. Yeah, that's the way it should be, absolutely. Like, I don't feel like um, talking about somebody else's kid should be okay. Um, talking about somebody else's baby should not be a thing. Um, like, it was really, it was really hard not to have that ruined for us. Um, Cause at first we were not gonna know until the gender reveal. And then these content creators was like, this is what it is. And of course I look at that, I see that. So naturally, but it's okay. Cause we had a beautiful reveal. Um, it was kind of funny. Because um, Mia, I let Mia um, do the decorations for everything. And she did such a good job. Oh my gosh, she did such a good job. Um, the, the backdrop for the pictures was gorgeous. Um, Ken's dad, his stepmom, and um, his half-sister came the day before. They had to leave, um, unfortunately, before the gender reveal, because they had to get back home. They come from out of state. So um, they couldn't stay for the reveal, but we spent like two days with them. That was great. Um, my sister had got like a balloon for us to pop, but we didn't have anything to pop it with. So the cannons on both sides went off with the pink smoke. And then like Ken is trying to jab the freak balloon with an earring and it didn't pop. Oh, and then like the thing fell over and I'm like, it's a girl. <laughs> it was hilarious. Oh, it was so memorable. He had to be there. <laughs> All right, try not to mess those up. All right, I've never seen a curl. Oh my goodness, thank you, Jimmy. All 
right, guys. Well, I'm going to go finish getting ready. Um, I'm going to go and call Ken, see where he's at. He should be here any second, so I need to get dressed. And pack my overnight baggies so I can head over there. All right, guys. Thank you. Thank you, Crystal. Thank y'all so much for watching my live. I'm sure I'll do it again soon. Have a good day.